Hey guys, this is Kevin for Pixavert.com. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at Lightroom. And what I want to take a look at is a specific feature called Enhanced Details inside of Lightroom. This is a feature that was introduced by Adobe just last year and it's designed to increase the resolution of images that are imported into Lightroom. It uses artificial intelligence. Let's take a look at it. Now the portrait I'm working on is not the most obvious image to try to enhance. You don't really want a female portrait to be sharp and gritty. However, in this particular case, the camera that took this is an X-Trans Fujifilm camera. It uses the X-Trans sensor. And sometimes you get some weird artifacts when you bring it into Lightroom, when you bring uh, images by this type of camera into Lightroom. Now, before we go ahead, I want to just explain that in this video, I want to discuss some very minor details inside the image. So I'm going to be limiting how much this video is processed before it's uploaded. So we're not going to be doing a lot of editing on this video. However, even then, I think you may struggle to see some of the detail. So I'm going to try to describe it as best as I can. And if you have a Fujifilm camera, you might want to try out this type of thing yourself. Now, as I said before, the image is not an obvious candidate for extreme sharpness. This particular technique doesn't really enhance the details by producing extreme sharpness. It, Adobe claimed that the technique increases the resolution by five to 30%, particularly for these X-Trans sensor images. Now to access the enhanced details, you need the latest version of Lightroom, right click the image, go to enhanced details, or alternatively, you can go to Photo, Enhance Details. Now, I'm going to describe very quickly what I'm seeing here. I'm seeing an image which looks just basically, which looks basically very good. However, there are parts of the image around here where I can see some artifacts and also around th this part of the face as well. Now, when you open up the filter, you can see that it gives you an estimate of how long it's going to take to process. In this case, 10 seconds. But in some cases, it may take up to a minute, especially if you don't have a powerful GPU. When I click on the image, we see the original and we're kind of zoomed in, I think about four to eight times. When I release, we see the enhanced image. So click to see the original, release to see the enhanced. And if I move it like this, you may be able to see some artifacting around here. There's some stripes that I can see when I click on it and see the without enhanced version, the enhanced version looks a lot better. And here the image looks a little bit soft. Release it, it looks a little bit better. So I can tell that this image has some artifacts. And even though we don't really want a sharp image, I can tell that the software may be able to get rid of some of those artifacts. Let's click on enhanced. And what it will do is five, 10 seconds from now, it will create a copy of this image, which is a DNG. Now, to apply this effect, it has to be applied to the image right after the image is demosaiced. So you cannot really do it with the processed image. You need the original raw file. Over here, we can click here and see the enhanced DNG. So if I double click on that, you can see the finished result here. Well, first of all, it looks very similar to the original. We don't want any radical changes in the image. And secondly, I think the artifacts have mainly gone. I would really need to zoom into about eight to one. I don't know if there's any point in doing that because I don't think you'll be able to see it still. Let's see, four to one. So as I'm moving across it, I can see that the image looks just fine now. And if we go to the original, 
you might be able to see some artifacting around there. You might be able to see some softness around the eyes. So really with this image, I think we've had a positive impact. The image hasn't become super sharp. There are some parts of the image where maybe the skin texture is a little bit sharpened as well. So I might want to take that into Photoshop and maybe just uh, smooth that out, smooth, smooth that out a little bit. Might want to smooth out my my uh, my my speech as well. But basically, for the most part, I think any real problems that appeared in the image have now been tackled. But you do really have to zoom in really tight and just examine the image once the effect has been applied and see that everything looks fine. And for the most part with this image, I can't see any problems anywhere. So this would be uh, one that I would definitely want to keep. So for this particular video, I think that's going to be it. What you really want to do with this type of image is to try it out with your own images, see what kind of results you get. Maybe this one will help you when you need to fix a few artifacts inside an image or when you really need to get a very high quality image for a for a gallery or for some other purpose. But that's going to be it for this one. I hope you found some of that useful. Till next time, take care, bye.